Today we're going to show you how to put in the Gen 1 Viper front license plate mount. Back in the old days, they didn't make a front tag mount for these cars. A lot of states require you to have a front license plate. We've come up with a little kit to kind of solve that problem. We'll show you how to put it in. First thing you're going to want to do, kind of clean these bottom tabs. Just take some rubbing alcohol and just kind of scrub this. Nice and clean, make sure there's no wax or silicones or anything like that on it. It's really pretty much the only preparation you've got to do. Now, what you need to do is loosen uh, a couple of bolts. In this opening, there is a the release lever for the hood. And what we're going to need to do is just loosen these up. Um, you don't want to take them out. You're just going to loosen them up. We'll use a 5 16 ratchet for that after you loosen these is to make sure that you have enough space for your bracket to slide underneath the factory bracket. So right in here you'll see that you've created a gap here and you're gonna and our new bracket is gonna slide right underneath that and then we'll show you exactly when to tighten everything up. That's pretty much all the preparation you need. Your bracket is going to come with these two attachment pads and that's just to keep things stable. It's going to have these long tabs that you're going to want to kind of face towards the front as you set this in and this is just going to slide in. This is where you're going to want to work this right into that above that that bracket. Okay. Now you're just going to push this in. Your bracket is going to come with these little tabs here. And what we're going to ask you to do is to just bend these down around the lip of the of the bumper grill. Um, pretty easy thing to do. It's a light gauge metal. What you just need to do is just kind of push these down like that. And that's going to lock the unit on to the grill. Uh, you don't want this thing flying out at 150 miles an hour. So the screw is basically going to also lock the unit in it's kind of more of a safety item and then bend all these tabs okay so now that you've got the the unit where the tabs are folded over and your 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 bolt is in position you're just going to want to straighten things out and make sure this is nice and even which this is and what's going to set that from jostling around is we're going to attach it to the top of the bumper and that's what you these tabs are for so you'll just kind of pull these out and then press it right to the bumper. Okay. Now that's gonna lock that in there pretty good. So now that you've got your license plate frame mounted and secure, the last thing we're gonna ask you to do is to uh, put this little stabilizer block in here. This is, this is a cool little trick to keep your tag frame or license plate frame from vibrating like this. So all you'll really need to do is to clean this up really good make sure there's no road grime or dirt or wax or anything on that and you can do that by scrubbing it down with a paper towel and some household rubbing alcohol and then simply you're just going to peel this and then just stick it right smack in the middle of your gen 1 vipers center tooth now when your tag frame is mounted that's going to be nice and stable your kit it's going to come to you also with a nice stainless steel license plate frame. We made this whole unit out of stainless. Of course, it's just kind of a basic thing to put this on. And we'll show you. These comes with nice little chrome screw covers. We'll show you once the bracket is on, you know, it's not actually hitting the car and um, you don't really see the bracket. And we think it's a nice stable unit. Once you're done, you're just gonna go in and just snug those two bolts back to their, uh, you know, the, to their original tightness, and that'll secure this from any possibility of this slipping out for any reason. 